hi thank you very much for watching this video in this video i'll show you how it is web3 is easy for very first starter the newbie how he can get started with web3 basically if you can go to the web3 then you will find plenty of tutorials and how everything working and everything is already here so you can just uh, have overview with the web i'll put the link in the description as well of this video so this is the latest version of web3 it's an ethereum javascript api so basically it allows you to interact with ethereum smart contract so it allows you to interact with ethereum blockchain so uh, best way is to get to these tutorials and uh, see what it what this all about and you can get idea how it will work and everything in detail <coughs> so basically it's an api which you can use in your application and which allows you to create an object and which then allows to call various methods of the api and do all these functions let's say the popular one is web3.eth so for example you can create your accounts and uh, the most popular also is contract so basically you can interact with the smart contract with this with this uh, function these methods and you can do pretty much everything all these functions are here and if you click on it it will show you what this function is all about it's well documented and it's perfect so let me quickly show you how you can use this in the browser based because there are many versions it's in uh, node.js it's in python or it's in go and any uh, lots of programming languages this api web3 is there in php as well so in this video i'll show you how you can use this in browser based javascript not in the server side node.js but browser based javascript so you can for example create application decentralized application just like this so it will run on javascript in this browser okay so just a quick overview first of all you can get the web 3 js from js deliver and you can include that in your html file i'll put the link in the description of the video as well so you can see this is the link you can keep that one in your project now the version might change so you always have to get the link from js deliver website it's much better or you can google it you know for the latest version so this probably if you are watching this video after two years then this obviously this version might have changed okay so once you included that this uh, this web3 javascript then you can just write your custom code and in this video i'll show you the how you can interact with the smart contract in the ethereum blockchain you know in the contract how you can interact with that so to interact with the smart contract i hope you understand what the smart contract is basically smart contract is this kind of uh, program written in solidity and that is running on ethereum blockchain and uh, to get more about it i suggest you to get go to google and type what is smart contract and basically it will give all the idea you also can check out what is ethereum and what is blockchain for the detailed idea because in this video i'm just assuming you are very first time i mean you just i mean just getting started <coughs> so okay in the code first thing that you have to do is you have to create an abi of array so it's abi of any smart contract so let's say for example if you are creating a smart contract then you have to get the ABI which you can get if you are using remix then you can get the ABI from here so this is the ABI so the ABI of this smart contract is can get from here so you have to paste that ABI like this which is just a, an array in JavaScript then you have to you know get a variable for main contract address so every contract in Ethereum has its own address so this is a uh, contract address so if you can if you deploy this contract then this is the contract address this one is contract address and if you also want to see then you can see, check that out in the uh, ether scan yeah. this is the contract address this is the contract address so you have to put the contract address of that particular 
particular smart contract. Two things. Now, third thing is you have to create an object of Web3. I put a Web3 infra. You can put any name. That doesn't matter. And the way you initialize is via new Web3 Web3 provider. If it is there, then it will pick up automatically. Otherwise, it will take directly from the Infura API. This is API provided by Infura. And uh, you can get the API from there. So if you can go to the Infura, you can get what the Infura is, and you can get the API from here as well. So you can get the API details from the Infura. So that, that's the third thing, you have to create an object. Now, once you created an object, you can literally call any functions of Web3 API. So for example, here, I'm just calling the Web3 ETH contract. And uh, actually, I'm creating an, another object, sub-object of my contract. And uh, what is it all about? This will let you to interact with the smart contract. And to know what the all about is, you can go to Web3 and Web3 contract, web 3 ethcontract so in here, you can understand what it is all about. This object actually lets you to interact with the smart contract. So first you have to create the main object and then from the main object, you have to create this sub object, which is called my contract. So as you can see here now, you can read everything all about here. So you get probably a good idea how it can be called. So for example, if you have to initialize this, you have to put the ABI and uh, your contract address. Okay, once you are there, then you can you know, call any methods. So you can call method like my contract dot methods, and then method name of the smart contract with the parameter, and then it will uh, give, let's say for example, if you wanna have this object, the keyword method, and then name of the method. This my method is the name of the method, which is actually any method of the smart contract. Let's say you wanna call, um, you want to call this one set start time function right this method you want to call so you have to put that one in here and call and from it is the the address from where you are calling the method and in the results callback function you will get the response so basically this is the the web3 in essence so basically web3 allows you to interact from your application with the smart contract, which is it runs on Ethereum blockchain. So you want to create decentralized application, which is actually distributed. I mean, they run mostly on the customer side, client side, browser side. So here you can use the Web3. So let me quickly show you how I did that one. And this one, I actually this for the MetaMask because MetaMask automatically injects Web3. So uh, basically this, this one and this one is the same, but sometimes, you know, Web3 by MetaMask is lower version. So I just kept that way, but you know, it's the same object, same thing. So from here, they are getting the accounts of a person who logged into the MetaMask. Actually, and if you don't know MetaMask, is the MetaMask is a, a Chrome extension, which allows you to manage your wallet. So for instance, uh, this is the MetaMask. You can get the MetaMask from Chrome extension. You can get it from from metamask.io, which is actually the wallet. And uh, you can use this one to manage your own wallet, Ethereum wallet. Okay, so here I just need to get the account of person who is logged in, right? And in that function, in that function, I have put the, you know, created a my contract object, same as I talked to you earlier, that you can put your ABI and contract address, the from is the person who is signing this my contract object, which is the person who logged into the MetaMask. I, you can put any from. I mean, if you don't have MetaMask and you want to use wallet with your private keys, then again, you can do this one like that. Okay, now this is the recipient address, this token amount, and this is the all the, ver the variables I have created. And then you just can call a function which I just uh, want to sign a message and create a VRS for the signature. You probably know about this down the road as you go, but for now, if you don't understand all this, then just don't worry about this. Just understanding, I'm just saying that you can call any method, any function of the smart contract this way. So you have, for example, 
this one is the, to sign a message. This is not actually used for any uh, smart contract. It is actually happening on the browser side. It's actually to sign any message with the private key or with the MetaMask injector object. So this is how we generate, I generated VRS in this example. And uh, basically that is it. So bottom line is you can include the JavaScript on the browser and then you can create the ABI and then you can have the contract address, create object of Web3, create smart contract object and with that all these uh, parameters and variables and then you can call any function to write on the smart contract or to read on the smart contract. So I hope you got clear understanding of Web3, just an overview. If you have any further question, just uh, let us know.